the fall of man was the declaration of independence from the country of heaven anybody got that remember whenever a colony declares independence the governor is illegal when Adam told God I don't need you no more I'm gonna determine my own future I'm gonna do what I want to do I'm gonna disobey your law it was the declaration of independence that leads to number two independence demands to recall the governor the Holy Spirit had to get out of here he became illegal number three is important to write down therefore the fall of man was the loss of essential life on earth we lost contact with the governor therefore we can no longer represent the kingdom of heaven again I put it to you then that the loss of the governor was the loss of the presence of the king and the kingdom this is very important man never lost a religion so joining a religion will never satisfy you if you thirsty and you eat bread you still thirsty no matter how good the bread is no matter how much raisin they put in it nuts cranberry coconuts you thirsty if you give yourself what you don't need you are still thirsty no matter how sophisticated your religion is if it's a religion you'll never be satisfied you'll be busy but never satisfied that's why Jesus Christ could not bring a religion to earth that is not what man lost write this down please the death that Jesus talks about in Genesis chapter 2 the day you disobey me God says you will surely die that death means detachment from the source or the country of heaven when we declared independence from Great Britain we had to exchange constitutions we gave them back theirs and we created our own the Bible says there is a way that seems right unto a man but the end thereof is what death in Isaiah prophesying with the Messiah it says we are all like sheep gone what astray each man to his own way that's what independence is we can't call England and ask it to give us money to build roads no more we can't say England please help we need some fresh water we need some new badges to bring water from Angola. England say you on your own you declare independence you gotta pay your own bills independence means that you determine your own future and that's what Adam did write this down please Adam therefore became self-determinating he determined his own future physical and spiritual now by the way whenever you throw out a governor you got to replace it with another governor The first act of our country when we became independent was we got to appoint a new governor. Who was the first governor of the Bahamas? From, from the Bahamas? Sir Milo Butler. Where was he born? Right down here. What part of the country? Bay in town. All right. Now think about this now. <laughs> we threw the Holy Ghost out and appointed Lucifer. Is anybody here with me? <laughs> Lucifer is an unemployed cherub he was fired for insubordination no wonder why we hate authority when you rule when you are ruled by someone who is unruly y'all talk to me man then the first thing you do is kill your brother come on Ken Jesus talked about Lucifer one time he says you are like your father the devil 
and then he defined him he says he was a murderer from the beginning no wonder why our murder rate is rising the devil is still harassing the bahamas but god lives in the bahamas we're gonna kick him out come on go with me in the name of jesus you cannot fight the spirit of murder with policemen There's a spirit that governs the heart of man, that destroys man. And everything he touches, he destroys. He comes to kill your children, steal your marriage, and destroy your finances. Oh, but the king came back to the colony and says, I have come that they might have life. Come on, give him a praise. And them have life what? More abundantly. They have too much life. Very important. Now, what did man lose? Very important question. Number one, man lost the Garden of Eden, which is the presence of God. Number two, man lost the presence of the Holy Spirit, which is the governor. Number three, man lost the kingdom of heaven on earth, the influence of God. And number four, when man dis dis disobeyed God, he lost his ability to dominate and control its environment. And number five, when man disobeyed God, man lost his identity. You can only know who you are if you know where you came from. That's right. yeah. That's right. And this is why we like dress like other people. <laughs> wear other people's names like Calvin Klein and Giorgio and you know Nike. We got to wear people because we don't know who we are. We got to imitate people, cut our hair like them. Because we are suffering from identity crisis. The first thing God gave Adam was his image. We lost our image. Cut off relationship. So now we are imagining other people. Imaging other people. So they call it the Michael Jordan image. And we buy their suits to put on their image. We wear other people because we don't know who we are. Why do you think our young men would kill their own brothers for a pair of Nike shoe? Because Nike gives them identity. It's not, a, it's not a stealing problem. It's an identity problem that results in stealing. Of course, none of y'all are like those young people now. Y'all are sophisticated believers. Then why are you trying to get a car you can't afford? Because you got an image problem. <laughs> My wife and I drove a Toyota for must be seven, eight years. We held it together with tape. I telling you, me. I used that silver tape to hold the bumper together, hold the light on, and we drove to work for six years in that thing. I used to fix it myself. It was so poor. Why? We were, we were trying to pay for a piece of property. Hallelujah. And some of y'all got a, a BMW and you're still broke. And I'm still renting. I don't understand that. Your priorities are wrong. Don't be jealous of people because you don't know what they paid to get what they got. Am I right, Brother Mike? People look at you and say, who do you think you are? Shut up, man. You don't know what we did to get this. See, I had no image problem. I was Miles Monroe going to the government building in that car, smoking. Tuka, 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 tuka. Hey, boy, laughing. I paying for my property. We lost our identity. And we tried to find it by sacrificing our own children. I put it to you, friends. The greatest loss we had was two things. Number one, we lost, the greatest thing we lost was the kingdom of God. And the greatest person we lost was the Holy Spirit, the governor. Whenever you declare independence, you lose two things. Only two things. You lose the kingdom and you lose the governor. Now, therefore, if God wants to regain his colony, he has to get these two things back. So the coming of Jesus Christ was simple. 
Stop making it complicated. He didn't come to start a religion with all this ritual stuff. He came to bring the kingdom back. And in order to keep it here, he had to make sure and leave the governor here. That was the purpose for Easter weekend. As a matter of fact, let me show you some stuff here and blow your mind. The ultimate mission of God for Jesus was the restoration of what mankind lost. Mankind lost the kingdom of heaven on earth and he lost the governor from heaven to earth. I repeat it. Man lost two things. He lost the kingdom of heaven on earth and he lost the governor from heaven on earth. So he lost two things. Ladies and gentlemen, if I die in the morning, remember these two important points is what I tried to tell you about all my life. The only two things that Jesus preached was the kingdom and the Holy Ghost. Study the four gospel. He never preached prosperity. He never preached faith. He never preached healing. He never preached deliverance. He never preached those things. He preached the kingdom. The kingdom. Then he says, the Holy Ghost shall come. Holy Ghost shall come. The kingdom. The Holy Ghost shall come. Holy. Two messages. Because they are the same message. If the governor is present, the kingdom is back. If the governor is present, the kingdom is back. If the government is present, the kingdom is back. If you ain't got the governor, you ain't got the kingdom. You can be a Christian and not be in the kingdom. Because a king, a Christian is a religious person. You can follow certain rituals and be a Christian. Matter of fact, you can be a pastor in a church and not be in the kingdom you don't believe me run into nicodemus nicodemus was in charge of the synagogue he was the pastor of the place and christ says you ain't got the spirit except a man be born of the spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of god i don't care how many robes you wear incense you burn candles you white light he says you ain't got the spirit the kingdom ain't in you you know the bahamas could actually claim right now you know we can declare we could officially go downtown and declare we are now back in england we are now a colony again you could do that as long as that man don't come back you lying the governor got to come back he is proof that you are reconnected Follow me carefully now. So the purpose for the death of Jesus, write this down please, had to be related to these two things. The death of Jesus was to be a substitute for the penalty of man's death. You know, do you remember what the, 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 the government said? The government said, the day my citizens disobeyed me, they shall surely die. That came down from the government. So when man disobeyed God, the government had to pass judgment on man to kill him. So Adam, that's you and me, we had to die. Therefore, instead of killing us, the king of the country decided, I love the colony so much, I am going to kill myself in their place. 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 Their place. Everybody substitute in their place say substitute let me tell you something the death of Jesus did not was not the ignoring of your sins this is very serious we get the idea that he loves me so much he will not kill me that's a lie he hates sin so much. He was supposed to kill you. But he killed himself. So you didn't get away. Somebody died. And he still, he still hates sin. 